We now want to discuss a brief introduction to network performance. When we want to talk about our network usage, a few fairly known words describe how we experience the networks. Here, we define and briefly explain how to quantify some of those words, including throughput or bandwidth, delay or latency, loss, jitter, and delay bandwidth product. An important performance measure in networks is end-to-end -end throughput. It describes the rate of transfer of data between a sender and a receiver. Throughput is measured in bits per second. Instantaneous throughput is a rate of transfer of data at any instant of time. Average throughput is the average rate of transfer of data over a certain period of time. Assume we have two hosts, A and B, and want to send a file with size F from host A to host B. The instantaneous throughput might vary over time. Now, if it takes T seconds to send this file of size F from A to B, the average throughput for sending file F from A to B will be F divided by T bits per second. Now, let's discuss this figure. RS is the rate of the link between the host A and the router we see in the figure in between. And RC is the rate of the link between the router and host B. We want to see what is the end-to-end -end throughput. To answer this question, it might help if we think of bits as water and the links as pipes, as indicated in the figure as well. What if RS is less than RC? Then the end-to-end -end throughput will be limited by RS. For any end-to-end -end path, the transmission rate of the whole path is determined by the bottleneck link, which is the link with minimum link capacity. In the figure here, minimum of RC and RS determine the end-to-end -end throughput. Let's consider a network scenario where we have not isolated our sender-receiver pairs. Assume we have n sender and receiver pairs where there are n simultaneous downloads happening. There is a link along the path that is shared among n downloads. This link capacity is R. Assuming there is no other traffic in the network, we can say that the connection end-to-end -end throughput is minimum of RS, which is the access link capacity of the sender, RC, which is the access link capacity of the receiver, and R divided by N, where R is the link capacity of the shared link along the path. It is worth to note, due to reasons we will discuss later, in practice, usually either of RC, the access link capacity of the receiver, or RS, the access link capacity of the sender, is the bottleneck.